nothing says fall like beer cheese soup dipped in bread. Mmm. So simple to make. I'm telling you, you're going to be the hit of any party with this. Seriously. We're going to show you how to make it. Hey everybody, you're watching The Dude's Kitchen and Grill and I'm your man, The Dude. Or if you're not into the whole brevity thing, El Dudorino works too. You know, today, like I said, nothing says fall like beer cheese soup. It's got the three ingredients that any guy needs. It's got pork in it, pig, cheese, and beer. And this is how I make it, and I, I just think this is the bomb. So super simple to make. I've already started on some celery. We're gonna put it in here into the prayer. I'm just gonna cut it up. Let's cut up the celery. It's gonna go into the prayer thing, or however you pronounce it. It's gonna shred the heck out of it here in a moment. So I don't have to have it like too thin. It'll take care of it in this. Pureer. Is that a word? Pureer? Well, if it isn't, it is now. Next thing is onion. Just a whole onion. Cut it in half. Cut it in half again. Cut it up like so. Because this is going to go in there as well. Perfect. Put it down in there. Take our little pureeer. All right, that's close enough for government work. Let's take a look at it. That looks good. Next thing, throw that in there, like so. We don't have to put all of it in there. Stir it up some. Next thing we're gonna do, get our pork ready. You guys know how to do this. Before we do that, Gonna put in a basically a couple cloves of garlic in there. Stir it all up. You can already smell it. It actually smells a lot like uh, the stuffing you'd make for like Thanksgiving dinner, which is coming up soon, guys. So, uh, Sure does smell good though. Whew. Turn it up all the way. Give it another quick stir. I'm not quite smelling the garlic yet. That's what I want to do. Ah, it just hit me. Perfect. Next thing that goes down is I have a pound of pork, but I'm only going to put half in there for right now. And we're going to adjust the recipe as needed. If I need more pork, I'll put it in there. But we're going to let this all kind of come together. When it does, we'll be right back. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It's time for another Fridge of Fame moment. And this time, we have three stickers going down. So the first one is a buddy from Instagram, and it's called Naughty Beaver Barbecue. Dig this sticker. Oh, Mr. Naughty Beaver's gonna go right here by Craig and Charlie over at Pickles. Things looking good there. The next one is my buddy Steve over at Dutchy Cooking. This guy is a boy out of uh, the UK and he does some great Dutch oven cooking. Since he's from the UK, I want to put him right over here over Ryan's sticker. I'm going to kind of reserve this little top corner for the guys from the UK. The next one is my buddy Dustin over at TN grilling and smoking. This is a cool sticker. It's like hologram sticker. Let's see if I can get it off without ruining it. Yeah, there we go. And his is going to go right here. Right there next to Dave from Da Bomb Smokes. All right, guys, make sure to check out all three of these guys. 
I'll put a link down below to Naughty Beaver Barbecue Company, Dutchy Cooking, and my buddy Dustin over at TN Grilling and Smoking. All right, guys, let's get back to cooking. Right, we're about five minutes into this. Stir it up a little bit, turn the heat down. I turn it down to about medium. It's time to just take our pork, kind of let it start doing its thing in here with our onions. I don't want too much pork in here because I don't want it to overpower our soup. All right guys, but you get the picture here where we're going with this. We'll be right back when it's time to throw in the cheese and the beer. In between cuts, i just been going like this to it, right? Just breaking down that pork in there. All broken down. The next thing I want to show you is this black and white container. It is just, it's called pub beer, but it's from 10 Barrels Brewing. And it's, it's kind of a local brewery here in town, but I think they're out of like Portland, Oregon, but we also have a brew pub here. And they just make regular old pub beer. Looking good. We're gonna pour a whole thing of this into our meat. Crack it open, pour it in. Now what I want to happen with this beer is it to come up to temp where it's almost boiling. That way we can add the cheese to it and kind of finish this thing off. Our beer is just to the point that it's just starting to bubble. So what I did is I just took some Velveeta cheese. I did the Mexican blend because you can already see that it has jalapenos in it. So I'm going to just start adding this to our beer and pork, onions, etc. And I took a, an entire 16 ounce thing of Velveeta cheese and I just cubed it up. Throw it in like so. Now I'm going to turn the temp down on this to just about uh, medium, between medium and low. And I'm going to cover this and we're going to give it about 10, 15 minutes and we'll check it out. We'll be right back. All right, guys, our timer just went off for 10 minutes. Time to check it out. Oh, look at that. Starting to get some meltage in here. Sorry about that. That's just a waste of good beer and cheese. Oh, but it's looking good. All right, guys, we're going to give it another 10 minutes and check it out. In the meantime, I'm going to drop the temperature down to low and just let this simmer on through. See you back in a moment. Before I open this up, I want to say that at about the five minute mark, I did cut the heat, so this is running on residual heat at this point. Let's look. Voila, look at that. That is a thing of beauty. That is money. There is nothing else added to this. I didn't have to add flour for this consistency. I didn't have to add extra cheese, nothing. You could, if you wanted more cheese, add more cheese. A little thicker, add a little flour to it. If you want it a little runnier, add a little more beer. That is money. Scoop some of this up. Man, it smells amazing. Heck yeah. Look at that, guys. That is a thing of beauty right there. Doesn't get much better than that. We're going to use for this a little Uncle Steve's Spicier. And I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top because I just want some, some color to it. You know, it kind of looks like maybe some paprika or cayenne pepper, whatever. But I think we're ready to try this. I'm ready. I want to try this so bad. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That beer just shines through this, man. I'm serious. Pub Brew by 10 Barrels Brewing. You can use whatever beer you want, guys. For me, this just works. 
I get everything. I get the Uncle Steve's on the top, although I did mix it in just a moment ago. Get the cheese. Mmm. And that pork in there, the bomb. I'm gonna do this like a man, just dip it. Mmm. Oh my god. Winner, winner. Beer cheese soup for dinner. You got it. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you guys, if you made this and took it to your buddy's party or you had a party and you did it, man, it would be a hit. I'd make more than what I just made though. Serious. But in the cast iron, it's not even sticking on the top. It's so good, guys. Oh. I'm not sharing. Seriously. All right, guys, you saw how we made it. Super simple. Just takes a little bit of time, but nothing crazy. Use whatever beer you want on this. I think you're going to dig it, guys. All right, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for sticking it out this far. Really appreciate it. I hope everybody's getting into fall. If not, what other choice do you have, right? All right, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. Ring that dinner bell for more on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. Remember... The dude abides this time with beer cheese soup. Talk to you later, guys. I'm going back to eating this one. Dang. Mmm.